Welcome back. We're continuing our conversations here on Sunrise this Saturday, but we're going to have a little bit of twist right now. Yes, yeah, talking like about that. education. Well, yes, we're going to be talking education. We've left 2015 elections, uh, but for our international audience, in the next few minutes, we'll be going to we'll join our crew in Port Harcourt for the APC rally. We'll continue our conversations here on the uh, terrestrial on the terrestrial platform as we discuss education and educational tours how would it benefit you if you hear the conversation we had here i mean mm. backstage mm. An amazing conversation <laughs> and guess what i just i just got admitted into one university i don't know which <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I, well, you'll get to hear by the time we're done the the, the desire to acquire education and indeed to improve oneself and one's life and st uh, standards, academic basically, status. academic status, have driven a lot of Nigerians and indeed the international community to other parts of the world seeking to improve themselves. And so in the international fairs, educational fairs are organized across the country, across the world, but we're talking what happens in Nigeria. This annual event, which brings delegates from a number of universities from the UK, US and Canada to Nigeria, is an annual event. And these delegates take part in a tour around Nigeria where the prospective students are interviewed and successful ones are offered admission places. As I said, I was offered admission. <laughs> anyway, so well, let's meet the, the crew, the, these uh, individuals that helped to make this possible and give opportunities to Nigerians across the country. Uh, Ms. De Debbie Oko is a Nigerian recruitment manager, University of East Anglia. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Jessica Okenwa is a marketing manager, Westerfield College. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, say ladies first. And now the gentleman, mm, Simon the gentleman. Foster. <laughs> Simon Foster, International Recruitment, Northumbria University. Good morning. Good morning and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start <laughs> with um, this question. Why the educational fair? Who's going first? Okay. Um, the reason for the education fair is to bring universities to Nigeria, speak to people, intending students who would like to find out more about the colleges, about the universities, how to get an offer. Lots of people have been born by maybe talking to fraudulent agencies and all that. And so universities are thinking of coming down to Nigeria, speaking to the students themselves. And this has been organized by MUG Education that is based in Lagos and other offices in Nigeria. They're organizing the fair and they're bringing all the universities that are taking part in the fair to come speak to students, give offers to those who are eligible to get onto the program, talk to them about scholarships, about tuitions, about where the universities are situated and lots of things that the students will want to find out about these universities. Universities right. from outside uh, yes. Nigeria. And then there's okay. also a Westerfield College that's based in Lagos. Okay. And Simon, I'll come to you, but let me come to you, Debbie. Okay. Um, when you say you're bringing the universities from outside, they have their website. I mean, couldn't the students uh, who want to be part of the school communities, can, can they just go to their website and communicate with them and get the information in? Why do they have to have a fair? Well, definitely they can go on the website. Um, but then sometimes you find out that when you talk to people, you make more informed decisions than when you go on the website. Um, it's a lot difficult when you have so many options and you really don't know how to streamline it. When you get to talk to the delegates one-on-one, -on -one, it makes it easier for you to understand, okay, this is what this university offers, this is what this other university offers, this is what I want to study. Some people don't really have an idea of what they really want. So talking one-on-one -on -one helps you know, make, the, make you know, the informed decisions. That uh, helps. Okay, Simon, you're coming in. Yes. What's, what, what's this, what has it been like for what, to come to Nigeria? No, to mm. come in for these educational affairs. Has it been beneficial to your institution? Uh, certainly, yes. I mean, I've been coming to Nigeria for about four years now, probably four or five times a year sometimes. So I've been coming here a long time to take part in, in these types of edu educational affairs, sometimes going directly to schools or universities to talk to students themselves. Uh, and it's absolutely fascinating and, and a delight for me to be back in Nigeria. Um, and I think it's really important that... Uh, it's very easy for students in the UK, they can just go and visit a university and talk to the members of staff of the different universities they're interested in. But it's very difficult for students from overseas to have that same one-on-one uh, -on -one experience. 
So I think it's really important that delegates from the UK take the time and the effort to come to Nigeria to meet the students themselves. Um, because there's lots of questions you mentioned about the website earlier. There's only so much information we can put on the website. Uh, and I think a lot of Nigerian students have some very specific questions they'd like to ask. So it gives them the opportunity okay. to speak to us. Tell us about your school. Okay, so my school Northumbria is... Northumbria University, Newcastle. That's right, yes, yeah. Uh, Northumbria University, Newcastle, which is uh, the northeast of England. Some of you may know our semi-famous football team, uh, Newcastle United. Uh, not doing so well this year, <laughs> but never mind. Uh, yes, it's actually one of the largest universities in the UK, which, which is a surprise to some. It has over 30,000 students, which for the UK is a, is a very large university. Um, and we have a whole range of subjects for students to study. Um, obviously in Nigeria some popular subjects are, are typically finance and law, engineering of course. Um, but we have other, other subjects as well such as um, psychology, such as international development, politics, sports studies. So there's a whole range of, of courses that Nigerians could potentially study with us. Okay, okay. Westerfield? Yeah. It's um, in Lagos. It's in Lagos. It's a college. What we do is to bridge the gap between the universities and the high school, which is the secondary school in Nigeria. So students who come to us will be able to get into the university, year one in the university. Take, for instance, in the UK, you can't just get into year one without going through a college, and that's what we offer students here in Nigeria. They come to us for the Cambridge A-level, the International Foundation Program, the American Transfer Pathway, and the Pre-Medical Foundation. And we also have lots of streams at the college. There's the law, the business, engineering, um, um, lots of pathways anyway. So for any course a student would like to study, you'll find a pathway at the college and then you're able to get into the university. We also ensure that every student that comes to us get properly guided as to which course they would like to study. Because students are thinking about where am I supposed to study, where can I go to location, fees and all that. You can't get all that counselling if you don't go through the right college and get all the information that you need. So for us, we're more particular about student getting onto the right course and then being placed into any of the list of universities that we work with. Again, we also have um, a year start that is in January. So for students who have missed um, getting into the university in September, they can get onto the course in January and then they find their way to any of the universities that we work with in September 2015. So they have a chance to come in to the college this January. Okay, okay. Debbie. Okay. Um, University of East Anglia is based in Norwich. If you've heard about the city of Norwich. Um, it's a fairly mid-range university, but we're top 20 in the UK at the moment. We're number 14 on the league table. Um, one of our core courses, one of our um, area of strength, is international relations. Okay, so we'll probably talk about that later. Yeah. International relations, environmental sciences, international development, those are courses that we are really strong and, you know, um, we have lots of students have interest in those courses at the university. Okay, let, 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 I'm just uh, thinking now, for instance, uh, if I have a daughter that is 50 years old in SS2 in Nigeria, okay. where should I start asking the question? That about you know, where to getting to. her, where to put her. Okay, when? the right time where? to start asking is now, is now because yeah. it helps you um, find out where exactly you want her to go. So we're happy to have students come to the college, even if they're not ready to go in and ask questions. We're able to counsel them and all that. So if you come to the college, we're in Lagos. Where's your college? It's by, here in by Lagos. Where? Alago where in Lagos? Lagos? Number seven, he was Alago Meiji at Yaba. Students are allowed to walk in, speak to the counsellors, find out the courses that we have to offer, the universities that we work with. Aside um, delivering instruction, which is teaching the students, we also ensure that every student is placed into the university. We also expect that every student that comes to us gets a visa to progress because you can get all the right course, get the right university, and you do not have a visa to go on to the university. So we ensure that the student that comes to us from start to finish, you get the right course, you get the right university for your course, the right tuition for the, for the budget your parents have got to pay, and then you're able to get a, a visa to get onto the university. So we're happy to have any parents who's willing to start asking questions at the moment. We also do not have age limit, like as long as you're 15, you can get onto the college and... That's fine. Yeah, you know, just, just before we continue the conversation, we said earlier that um, our international audience and those on DSTV will be hooked on to the APC rally in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, but our conversation continues on the terrestrial platform. So, um, Simon, the, what are the, what schools are taking part in this? 
this okay. fair Aside that's from happening this there, apart from the three of you. Okay, well, f very helpfully, it's been written down on my, on my show. That might cost you. So we have represent... <laughs> <laughs> there's the University of East Anglia, there's the University of East London, there's Northumbria University, there's Cardiff Metropolitan University, there's Swansea the University, there's the University of Hertfordshire, there's Westerfield College, and All there's Navitas. seem to be in the UK. Um, Navitas has Australia, has Canada, has the US. So Navitas has other countries outside the US. But UK. most of the other ones you mentioned are in the UK. The UK. Yes. Okay, now with this particular fair, when is it starting? Where is, is it going to hold? Oh, um, um, it's starting okay, today at 12 o'clock at Sharatin Ikeja. We're having one on Monday, 12 o'clock as well, Eco Hotel. There's one Tuesday, Tuesday. Constantial Bini. Monday is a co-hotel. Monday is a co-hotel. Mm -hmm. Today is Sheraton. Today is Sheraton Ikeja. Yeah. Tuesday is Constantial Hotel Bini. Wednesday is Abuja, Abuja. Transcorp Abuja. Hilton. Friday is free. And Saturday is um, Ogeni Place. Thursday is Uyu, sorry. Thursday is Uyu, Le Meridian Uyu. And Saturday is Ogeni Place, Potakot.